Town of Lysander residents will vote from noon to 9 p.m. Friday on what's become a controversial proposal to authorize bonds for a proposed Lysander Spray Park. Town residents forced a public vote on using bonds to pay for the park by submitting a petition with enough signatures to require a public vote. Registered voters who live in the town of Lysander can vote. The vote is being held in the auditorium in the Town Hall, 8220 Loop Road. The Lysander Town Board earlier this year voted to authorize up to $400,000 in bonds to help pay for the spray park, or splash pad, the town plans to build on land in the town park. A group of residents who wanted taxpayers to vote on the bonds collected 628 signatures, of those, 551 were ruled valid. By law, 5% of the number of Lysander residents who voted in the last gubernatorial election is needed for a permissive referendum. That required 377 signatures. The vote is whether or not to authorize the town to bond for the project. Spray Park would be about 3,500 square feet with 24 ground and standing sprays, along with a pavilion for changing clothes. It would be located on a portion of the town's 75-plus acre park at the corner of Henkel Boulevard and Smoky Hollow Road. Sander Town Supervisor Joseph Sarachani said the town expects the cost of building the park to actually be about $280,000, with funds the town has earmarked for the project. The town also is wants to secure corporate donations. If the town bonds for $280,000, taxpayers would pay about $2.10 a year on a $100,000 home for 10 years, town officials said.